Are you thinking about making a move to beautiful Petaluma, California? Then you've clicked on the right video. In this episode, we're gonna be giving you a full blog tour of Petaluma, California. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share some things with you I bet you didn't know. To make this video a little easier to digest, let's break it up into three different categories. Number one, a little bit of information about Petaluma and where it is. Number two, fun things to do, events. Uh, and that sort of thing, shops, all of that good stuff. And number three, we gotta talk a little bit about the real estate. How much do homes go for here? How expensive is it to purchase? And so much more. All right, so before we start with the tour, let's give you guys a little bit more information of Petaluma and exactly where it is. Petaluma has a population of only about 60,000 people. That happens to be Sonoma County's second biggest city next to Santa Rosa. It's about a 40 minute drive south to San Francisco. It's about a 20 minute drive south to Marin. You're only about 35 minutes away from Bodega Bay where you can see some of Sonoma County's most beautiful beaches. And Petaluma is mostly known for its lively downtown area, having some of the best cheese in the world, as well as some craft brewery. So if you're a beer person, a cheese person, you're definitely gonna make sure you wanna watch this video. As far as things to do here in Petaluma, I mean, the list is endless. My number one spot to go to is Brewster's, which is a beer garden right here in Petaluma. So much fun in the summertime. They allow dogs there during Christmas time. They have a full out. They deck the place all the way out with decorations. It's a kid friendly spot so you can bring the kids there. They have a little play area set up in the front. It's huge. Again, kids, dogs, great food, great beer. Uh, and it's one of my very favorite things to do with my family in the summertime. All right, so right now we are downtown Petaluma and right across the street here, one of the main things you're gonna wanna focus on is the Mystic Theater restaurant in there is absolutely incredible. You have several different places to shop, wine shop, all sorts of fun things to do in there. My favorite spot in there is the Chicago, old Chicago pizza. It is out of this world. You'll notice a lot of the restaurants downtown are located right on the Petaluma River, which is incredible. It's a fun place to hang out, especially in the summertime on a warm day like today. You can kayak, jet ski, and do all sorts of fun things. Another good thing about Petaluma is if you're a beer person, this is the city for you. We have Lagunitas here, Hen House right here, just to name a few. So right behind me is the Petaluma Museum and Public Library where they give you tours of kind of the history of Petaluma. And anybody that knows me knows I love the history of Sonoma County. That place is unfortunately only open Thursday through Sunday. Today's Monday, so I can't give you guys a tour, but such a cool spot. If you're a history buff, if you wanna learn more about Sonoma County, plan a visit here and go check that place out. If you do anything, amazing. So right on the back side of downtown is more amazing shops. You got Bai Tai, Fruit in Motion, just some more fun places to come hang out, especially on these hot, hot, hot summer days. The downtown area, in my opinion, is one of the greatest downtowns in all the Sonoma County. There's just a countless number of things to do here. In the summertime, they have the Peggy Sue car show, they have motorcycle shows, the Petaluma Fairgrounds is located not too far away from here. So another huge list of events that happens there. But overall, for things to do, again, there's an endless amount of fun things to do here in Petaluma when it comes to food, drinks, river days, hanging out with the family. You can do all of it right here in Petaluma. And if downtown and bars and that sort of thing is not your style, rest assured Petaluma does have something for you. Right here, I am at the beautiful Schollenberg Park. And I gotta say, it's amazing over here. So in terms of hiking and biking and getting outdoor exercise, Petaluma has you covered. Number one park that comes to mind is the Helen Putnam Park. It has over six miles of hiking trails. And I gotta say, if you're you know, the outdoors type person, if you love getting exercise outdoors, if you love soaking up the beautiful sun rays, it's actually a little hot, actually gonna see me uh, balding here. But uh, you know, Petaluma does have you covered over six miles. If you have kids, if you love just getting outside, riding bikes, the e-bike scene here is blowing up. You could take one of those bad boys out here. And on top of all of that, it's just a gorgeous place to come, hang out, reflect. But overall, Petaluma, when it comes to parks, we got you covered. And I gotta say this, just after walking around here for just a couple of minutes, there are dogs everywhere. I thought Santa Rosa was a big dog town. That's where I was born and raised and currently live. And I think there's a lot of dogs there. There's 
dogs everywhere here. Restaurants, it really doesn't matter. Walking out on the streets, if they're hanging out, you know, at a restaurant, whatever, they're sitting next to their owner. So if you're a dog lover, a lover of your fur babies, this is your spot. One thing about Petaluma is it's pretty divided. Overall, Petaluma is a very small community. If you look at some of the other bigger cities, only 60,000 people here, but it's really broken up into two different areas, the east side and the west side. We're gonna get into that a little bit more towards the end of the video when we talk about the real estate side of things because prices do change a lot. East side offers one thing, the west side offers another thing. But when you're looking at Petaluma, it's important to, you know, if you're thinking about moving here to dial in an area, do your research on the east side, do your research on the west side, figure out what area is best for you, and then go from there. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, do me a huge favor, hit the like button. I only get a couple likes per video. It really helps the channel out and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I drop two videos a week, every single week, all having to do with living in Sonoma County. So hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. All right, let's talk a little bit about the real estate here in beautiful Petaluma. Uh, right now we are on the east side of town and the price point over here, the average sale price is around 890,000. Uh, we're gonna take you guys over to the west side here after this, just to kind of give you a comparison, but far less than the west side. I'll just give you that little spoiler now. But over here you can find like craftsman style homes, kind of average for this part of town. Uh, there are some newer developments popping up on this side of town and the west side as well. Um, but this neighborhood right here I'm in brings back some great memories because this is the neighborhood I actually sold my very first house uh, at when I was just what was that five or six years ago when I first got into real estate. So fun vibe, but over here completely different than west side. Uh, still kind of close to downtown, but obviously not as close uh, if you did live on the west side of town. I think over the last couple of years, Petaluma has really blown up. I think that has a lot to do with the pandemic the last couple of years, especially because people were able to kind of work from home. So moving to these more affordable areas just kind of shot the demand through the roof over here. And, um, you know, we're definitely seeing it reflect back on prices Population has grown here over the last couple of years. Uh, more families moving here, people getting relocated here for jobs, a ton of different job opportunities available here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the wet, for the east side of Petaluma. Let's go head over to the west side and show you guys just how much the west side differs. All right, so we're just pulling up to uh, one of the west side neighborhoods here in Petaluma. I spoke a little bit about it in the beginning of the video, but the west side and the east side do differ substantially so price points over here on the west side are 1.188 that is the median price sold and over here you're going to see a lot of victorian style homes that are typically older it's so funny because west side you get a lot of the older victorian homes east side you're going to see like newer-ish style homes but over here on the west side you're either going to get like a super old victorian style home or you're going to get a recent uh, new construction home built in like the early 2000s. We just helped a client of ours uh, relocate here from Washington. They just purchased on the west side an absolutely beautiful home, but it was built in the early 2000s. Big, it's like five bedrooms, five baths, five baths, 3,000 square feet. Uh, and that's pretty typical for this side of town, obviously with that price point being almost 1.2 million, you can kind of see why. We're just a couple streets up here from downtown Petaluma where you guys already know there's a ton of different things to do there. So west side, east side, they differ substantially, but I mean, these homes over here are absolutely incredible. There's no denying that. And if you wanna get a little more rural towards kind of like, you know, the further west you go, the more kind of rural it gets and you'll see a lot of like farm style houses and stuff like that, but absolutely beautiful over here. Just check out this one behind me. Incredible. A quick update on the Petaluma real estate market here. There's currently 1.3 months of inventory and basically to help you figure out what the hell that means is anything five months and under is technically speaking a seller's market. Five and six months of inventory is what we call a neutral market. Anything six and up is a buyer's market. Right here in Petaluma, there's about 1.3 months of inventory. Currently, there's only 75 homes actively available. That's both east side and west side. Price points vary. 
around 400,000 all the way up to about $11 million. So again, Petaluma has really, really, really grown over the last couple of years. But if you're looking to get in here, you know, figure out where you want to live. You know, I definitely think there is a place here for everybody, despite what your budget is. Obviously, there's not as many choices as there once was, but east side, definitely a little bit more affordable than the west side. And homes here on average sell at 102% of the list price. That technically means homes here on average are selling over asking. That's pretty much everywhere right now just because of the market that we're in. Not a lot of homes available for sale and there's a ton of buyers looking. So if you're thinking about purchasing here in Petaluma, you're probably gonna have to pay over the asking price. And that is gonna wrap up this week's video, guys. If you don't know me by now, my name is Danny M. Cronin. I'm a full-time real estate agent. I love making all these videos for you, giving you all of this content. But at the end of the day, I would love nothing more than to help you relocate right here to the beautiful Sonoma County area. That information popping up right here is all of my contact information. Call me, text me, email me, whatever is most convenient for you. And the easiest way to figure out what area is right for you or not is to reach out to me. Our first step is scheduling a quick 30 minute Zoom call. We go over everything that's important to you and we can help place you that way. This is what I do, let me do what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Really, really, really helps me out. And it keeps you updated next time I drop a video all about Sonoma County. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.